So today we're going to be rack mounting some HP servers with cable management arms. So the HP rails are a little bit different from other rails. They've got two pieces instead of one. And the first thing you want to do is figure out which rail is left and which rail is right. And uh, take those to your rack. You can see on the rail it says front right. So the other rail will say front left. You know that part of the rail goes towards the front of the rack and uh, alongside this rack you've got three screw holes each set of holes has three holes you want to uh, you want to put it in the correct rack unit that you want make sure to line it up with the markings on the rack in this case we use rack unit 10 and they just snap into place uh, you want to you want to snap them in place on the front and the back making sure you use the same unit for each side. Now this part of the of the rail just snaps into place on these four black tabs on the sides of the servers. So you want to line the black tabs with the holes in the rail and the, just push it back and it snaps into place. And then you want to carry the server. So slide the rails out from the rack and then slide the server rails into the ones that you just mounted. This is normally a two person job. You don't do it by yourself. In this case I only got the rail in on the left side, your right. And uh, so I had to slide the server back out and then push the rail against the rail on the server until it fit into place and push it all the way back. Once the server is all the way shut, it's locked in, in place to unlock it and pull it out. Pull back on the tabs on the left and the right and slide the server out. Uh, we want to do this to make sure it's in place snugly and uh, snap it back. So for the power cords, uh, we want to make sure they don't fall out accidentally. and That's where the Velcro comes in. We want to Velcro each power cord uh, to the server. These Velcro tabs, they've got holes in them that the, that the tongue of the Velcro slide through. And now the cable management arm, you want to snap this holder in on the left. And then on the right, you want to snap the cable management arm. Put one end in right at the edge of the, the back, the inner rail, and the other one on the edge of the outer rail, and then we'll snap it closed. And then you want to route your power cables and whatever other cables through the tabs in the cable management arm. So you can flip them up and uh, there's also velcro at the ends. I'm doing this while the cable management arm is open. Uh, so it's sticking out. Uh, on the edge of the cable management arm there's a groove. You can run the power cables through the groove. and. Uh, then you can close the arm completely. Now that it's snapped into place, it's easier to run to route the cables through the to the rest of the arm. Uh, again, I dropped my camera here, but uh, I'll have to show you again. So yeah, you can route the power cable. You can route other cables through here as well. Uh, once the tabs are closed and uh, you've got the Velcro in, you should be good to go. Snap them shut. So we want to check that we've routed the cable correctly. When you slide the server out, the cable uh, moves inside the arm. So you want to make sure you have patch cables that are long enough to reach the end of the rack. So typically these racks are 36 inches deep. Make sure you account for that. So now we're hooking up the KVM switch which allows us to use one monitor keyboard and mouse for multiple servers. So we're plugging in the VGA cable into the server and also single USB cable that runs both the uh, K 
keyboard and mouse and the other side is a green plug which goes into our AVM switch.